You there, person watching this video, ignore me breaking the fourth wall right now because I have a mission for you. This is incredibly easy. I need you to think of the worst anime that you have ever seen. And I guarantee somehow Rent-A-Girlfriend is just as bad as that anime. <laughs> YouTube, what's up with your man? It's your boy, Azrael Senpai in the build. And so it's, let me tell you a little bit about my journey with Runner Girlfriend. When season one of the anime came out, it ended on such a cliffhanger. I was actually tricked into thinking that this was going to be a very good manga and anime. Like, yo, so for the first time ever, I picked up Runner Girlfriend as my first manga. That very night after finishing that anime, I stayed up till three in the morning for the next four days to catch up to where the manga was, I read an ungodly amount of chapters just to find out that this show ever actually gets good. And that is such a depressing thing because I think at some point, just the bare skeleton of what Rent a Girlfriend is has a very good chance to be something amazing. The animation's there because it brings so much money in. But unfortunately, the manga creator is never going to be allowed to give this series the end it needs because it sells so much merchandise. Video games, the anime, stickers, coffee mugs, t-shirts, posters, everything. They fucking sell so much rent a girlfriend stuff. I have no clue how much it generates. If I find out, I'll throw it on the screen. Let's talk about some of the problems rent a girlfriend has. The lack of originality is fucking insane. This is a cookie cutter of every romance anime thrown into one. The unrealistic portrayals of people. The women are just treated like they... I mean, okay, okay, let's be honest, alright? Anime usually does not portray women too accurately. Holy fuck, bro. The Naruto girls are better than this. I mean, this shit is ridiculous. Uh, of course, poor character development is another giant weight that is tossed upon this fucking shit show of an of anime manga. There's not too many characters that have depth in this show. Like, obviously, Chizuru carries the show. A lot of people still watch the show just to see Chizuru, but bro, it is really not that worth it. She can't even carry this fucking disaster of an anime. Our main character, our main character, Kazuha, he's just so fucking incredibly likable. Every time he makes some progress towards being a good person, he automatically just throws it down the fucking shitter. Let's talk about the pacing in the anime and the manga while we're talking about the character development. The pacing is just as described previously. Something is built up, they act like they're going towards a ending or acting like they're going to make some sort of progress with the relationship and then everything gets confused. Either the characters don't understand each other or there's something wedged in there and all of the progress is reset. This is Rena Girlfriend summed up. It's a never ending hellhole. This anime absolutely should not have gotten a season three. I don't know why it's so popular. If you love it, man, more power to you. I think most people would agree Renner Girlfriend is fucking horrible, and the people who are still watching are hoping that something's going to happen. And the truth, from, from a manga reader, I can tell you, in terms of the manga content that I read, I'm at the point where season 5 would be, and we're on season 3. It's going to take at most 4 to 5 years to get to where season 5 is going to be, where I stopped reading at, and I can tell you nothing happened. It's fucking garbage. You're wasting your time. But Azriel, but Azriel, I need some romance anime to cure that, to cure that massive gaping hole in my heart. I got you, my nigga, because I'm going to put you onto the best romance anime. Because I'm going to give you some anime, I'm going to give you some romance anime suggestions that are far fucking better than Rent a Girlfriend. I'm going to save you. The only cost is the subscribe button. Drop the beat and let's get it. Toradora, one of the best fucking romance anime of all time. Shit gets done, shit gets accomplished. It's incredibly short. It's only 25 episodes. The main character is actually fucking likable. Holy shit, they actually make him to be a pretty funny and interesting character. I busted out so many times laughing at this. Our main girl, Taiga, she is a absolute fucking beast. She's mean, she says what's on her mind. Um, and she puts our main character through hell, but you know, they grow closer, you know what I'm saying? And it's a, it's a pretty good fucking show. I think you're gonna like it. Bunny Girl Senpai, holy shit, bro. This will make you feel every emotion in the book. It is probably my favorite romance anime of all time. It does so much thing worse. Nigga, the endings. Da-na-na-na, da-na-na-na, 
da na 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 na. Nigga, the music is peak animation. The characters, they have a, they have a supernatural element to this romance anime. It's still in the school setting. Um, it's hella cool. I think you're gonna fuck with it. You got Origaru or My Teenage Snafu. Fucking awesome, bro. Um, a lot of people have this as their all-time pick. Bro, it's only like two seasons too, I think. You need to fucking watch this. What are you doing out here watching Rent a Girlfriend? I should, I should smack, I should fucking put my hand, I should hurt you, bro. Free life. Fucking my dress up, darling, bro. The quintessential quintuplets. Kaguya-sama. There is so much stuff you can watch instead of Rent a Girlfriend. So I suggest you go out there and do it and you actually get a fulfilling experience in an anime that you could watch and you could be like, okay, okay, that shit was some gas. Not finish the season and sit there and get the feeling like, oh my god, they just teased the fuck out of me. So man, go ahead, do yourself a favor, check out some of those anime I recommended. This has been your boy Azriel Senpai. As always, press the subscribe button. I love y'all, man. And I'm out. Peace. Peace be with you.